Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about how to add and subtract radicals. So what you're going to do is you're going to take notes with me on the first page, then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so how do we add and subtract radicals? Actually, the rule is pretty simple. Okay, So the rule for adding and subtracting radicals basically states that the values inside each radical sign has to be the same. All right. So say for example, if we have say the square root of five plus the square root of five, right? Well, when that's the case, what you do is you add what's in front of the square root sign. So let's say it's two radical five plus three radical five. Well, two plus three gives us five and you keep what's inside the radical sign the same. So it's five radical five. Uh, how about another one? Say if I had say 10 radical three minus two radical three. Again, because what's inside the radical sign is the same, okay, all you do is you subtract what's in front. So 10 take away two is eight, and that's eight radical three, all right? So the key rule to know is in order to add and subtract uh, radicals, what's inside the radical sign has to be exactly the same, all right? Now, when things get a little more complicated, problems like down here. So here we have the square root of 32 minus the square root of eight, all right? Now, again, in order to subtract radicals, we have to make sure what's inside the radical sign is the same. So what you can do is you can try to simplify these square roots first, all right? So I know that the square root of 32 is 16 times two, right? And then 16 is a perfect square. So I can rewrite this as four radical two. All right, now I'm gonna focus on the square root of eight, okay? Now the square root of eight, I know, is the square root of four times two. And again, four is a perfect square, which is two, right? So that can be written as two radical two. And now notice that I can now subtract these because what's inside the radical sign is the same. So four radical two minus two radical two is gonna be two radical two, and there's your answer. All right, so, what I just did there is I had to uh, simplify the radicals in order to subtract them. So let's do one more here. Here we have nine radical five plus uh, radical 20. So again, I'm gonna try to make this 20 match this five. So let's see if I can do that. So if I simplify this, this is gonna be four times five, and then four is a perfect square, which is two, right? So I can rewrite this as two radical five, and that's a good thing because I wanna add that now to the nine radical five, right? So now two radical five plus nine radical five is gonna be 11 radical five. And there it is. All right, so problems up here are easy because what's inside the radical sign is the same, but these down here were a little more complex. All right, so when you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did these practice problems. So to save a little bit of time, I've already done the workout, right? So here we have uh, four radical 13 plus five radical 13. And again, because what's inside the radical sign, this is a pretty easy problem, right? So all we do is now we add the numbers in front. So four plus five gives us nine. So nine radical 13 is, is the answer. All right, down here, another easy one. Nine radical seven minus seven radical seven. Again, the radical signs are the same, right? So all we do is subtract nine, take away seven, and that gives us two radical seven. All right, these two were a little more complex because what was inside the original radical sign was different, right? So I had to simplify these to try to get um, the same values. And I was able to do that. So I was able to rename nine radical eight, 18 radical two, right? And because that now has the same as this, well, 18 radical two, take away three radical two, gives you 15 radical two. And then same thing down here. Here I had to rename three radical 54 as nine radical six. So nine radical six plus two radical six gives you an answer of 11 radical six. And there's the answer. All right, how'd you do?